it became clear to me that I need to broaden my lane even more than I had in the past. I needed to do something to get people's attention. I know some things, and the things that I know needed to be shared because psychology is a broad lane. It deals with your personality, but it also deals with collective personalities. If there are four people in a family, there are at least five personalities. Mom, dad, brother and sister, sister and sister, brother and brother. There there are at least four personalities, but there's also a collective personality of that family. And if you've got 10,000 families in a small town, then there are at least 10,001 personalities because there's a collective personality for that community. I learned this so clearly when I was doing jury work. There would be 12 people on the jury, but there were at least 13 personalities over there. There were 12 individual personalities, but then that jury took on a collective personality. And typically, there were many more than just 13. There were the 12 plus the collective, but then there were cliques within those 12. There were, there were groups, three or four would band together. And then two or three would band together. And so you would have the 12 personalities, then the one collective personality, then you would have little subsets. You would have 15, 16 personalities over there that you had to deal with. Think about our country right now. Is California the same as Georgia? Not by a long shot. Is Texas the same as Illinois? No. We have different personalities. States have personalities. They have collective personalities. There are regional personalities, and they, and they differ on different subject matters and topics. That's why there's social psychology. That's why there are psychosocial issues to deal with. You know, what kind of school does your child go to? Are they a conservative school? A progressive school? Are they talking to them about their pronouns, or are they talking to them about math? It matters, and you need to know. And so I was getting a lot of letters saying, you know, Dr. Phil, I I have a child in college. It's, It's an elite college on the East Coast, and they're talking about a quality of outcome. I'm spending a quarter million dollars to send this child to school to get an elite education, but then when he got there, they're saying, hey, We want everybody to come out the same. Well, then why does he need an elite education? If you can sit home in a beanbag and eat Cheetos all day versus somebody that goes out and works 14 hours a day and they're going to both come out the same, why do I need to spend this quarter million dollars, which I desperately need for my retirement? Or a young man or woman that's taking out $100,000 in student loans that is going to take them decades to pay off, Do they really need to do that if what they're preaching is that we all come out the same? These were serious questions from people that they were asking. Then COVID comes along and shuts everything down. And I spoke out at the time and said, you know what? They're shutting these schools down, and this prolonged quarantine is going to cause more damage to these young people than this virus ever could. And people looked at me like I was some kind of lunatic. They looked at me like, oh my God, some village is missing their idiot. Did you hear what he just said? And they criticized me soundly for it. And I doubled down and said, no, I'm sticking with what I'm saying. I'm right. And sadly, I'm going to be proved right. And sadly, I have been proven right. You want to know how many of those people that were criticizing me for saying that? who are now saying exactly what I was saying two years ago, three years ago. You know how many of them have contacted me back and said, hey, you know what? You were right. How about none? And that's okay. I don't need anybody to call me back and tell me I was right. I knew I was right when I said it, and I know I'm right now. And you know what they said? Well, they said a lot of things. But the people who shut down the schools, are the same people that were keeping the data that said we had the highest level of anxiety, depression, suicidal thought, and suicidality since records had been kept, which means they knew it. 
They knew the truth. They knew these kids were in trouble. They knew they were mentally and emotionally in trouble. And they knew that those schools were the lifelines. They knew the schools is where the mandated reporters were. And when they shut the schools down and those children weren't falling under the studied gaze of the mandated reporters, who are the primary source for referrals to the Department of Child and Family Services, Child Protective Services, referrals dropped as much as 40 or 50 percent in a lot of states. Now, do you think abuse and molestation went down 40 or 50 percent? Of course it didn't. We just didn't have the eyes on these kids to report it. Why not? Because the kids were abandoned back to their abusers behind closed doors with nobody to protect them. And they knew they weren't vulnerable to the disease. They knew this disease was not a great life threat to those children. Did it take some children's lives? A few. But comparatively, they were very low risk. So the same people who knew they were at low risk, who knew that they were in a mental and emotional crisis, yanked away their support systems. And what they said was, well, we did the best we could with what we knew at the time. No, you did not. You did not do the best you could with what you knew at the time. You had no plan to reopen the schools when you shut them down. You just shut them down because you had a new hammer and everything looked like a nail. And now those kids are compromised. Now those kids are behind socially, emotionally, academically. Will they ever close the gap? I don't know. Some progress has been made, but not near enough. Pediatric epidemiologists suggest that millions of years of life have been lost. Why? because these children will have less educational attainment. With less educational attainment, they will get lesser jobs. With lesser jobs, they will have poorer insurance coverage and higher risk occupations. Diseases will be diagnosed later, which means the progression will be greater, which means lives will be lost to the disease process. They'll be injured on jobs. They'll have poorer care. And it just shaves years of life off the end of their lives. Tragic mistake. Nobody's calling this out. I'm calling it out. Not nobody. Few people are calling it out. And I'm one of the voices it is. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I've launched my own network. It's called Merit Street Media. And you can find out about it by going to MeritStreetMedia.com. Com. On the home page, you're going to see a button there that says Channel Finder, because we're on all different kinds of platforms. We're on cable. We're on streaming. You can get it if you've got rabbit ears. You can't escape it. When you go there, you're going to find a, a button that says Channel Finder. You're going to hit that button, and it's going to say, enter your zip code. When you enter your zip code, there's going to be a list of places that you can watch it in your community, whether it's DirecTV or Dish or YouTube TV or wherever. I've got a video that talks about that. Hey, Dr. Phil here. So excited to talk to you guys about Merritt Street Media. And lots of people are asking, where can I watch? Where do I find it? Well, I got good news because the answer is everywhere. You can't own a television and not get Merritt Street Media because we're going to be in 80 million homes and counting. It's going up all the time. And here's what I need you to do first. I need you to go to your computer and get to one of your search engines, wherever you find the things that you go to, and type in MerrittStreetMedia.com. So I'm going to show you. Let's go to the computer, and you're going to type in MerrittStreetMedia.com. Okay, when Merritt Street Media uh, pops up, you're going to see a screen like this. And you'll see up here it says Merritt Street. And to the right, you've got Shows, Schedule, 
Channel Finder, About Us, and then a button over here for Channel Finder, and then one down here for Find Channel. And you need to click here, Channel Finder, or here, Channel Finder, doesn't matter, uh, but we'll just use this one right here, Channel Finder. You click that, and it brings you down here. Uh, come down from that, and you'll see where it says Enter Zip Code. And so you, you type in your zip code, and let's assume you live in Bayside, New York. So we'll put in the zip code for there, which is 11360. All right, and then you click Search Providers. All right. At that point, a list comes up, and it gives you all the different ways in Bayside that you can view. All the viewing options are just listed right there. If you want to watch on regular TV, and you have an HD antenna, then you would go here and you would see channel 63.1 or channel 54.2. That's WMBC or WTBY. Uh, either one of these, uh, you'll be able to watch us there. Okay, if you have satellite, direct TV, for example, channel 306 or 306 HD. If you have DISH, you can see us on 247 or 247 HD. Now, if you have cable, uh, Spectrum, for example, channel 63 or 1233 HD, or if you have Verizon Vios, you can see us on channel 18 or 518 HD. Now, there are also uh, streaming options there, and right now, you can go to Sling, and you see the Merritt Street channel. Now, if you have others uh, right now, you can request it and give them some grief for not having it. So you can request it from these that are listed, but right now you can see it on uh, the ones that I just went through. Now, there is also a Merit Plus app that you can get on connected TVs, and in order to do that, you need to go on your television to where it offers you uh, the option to download apps. And you can do it for Amazon Fire TV, Android, Android TV, Apple TV, uh, Apple iOS, Roku, or web. And those are all available starting April 2nd. Now, if you go there now, you're going to type it in and see nothing. But as soon as April 2nd hits, then you can go there and it'll pop up. You can get it, open it, and be able to watch it on your app on your television. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five different ways you can see this. You can find Merritt Street Media on your television in Bayside, New York, and it's even more in a lot of cities. So if I bump into you on the street and you say, I can't find Merritt Street Media, I'm not going to believe a word you're saying. You're just not trying because it's very available. So tell your friends, if, you've, if you're watching this, Tell your friends to watch it because this walks you through dots close together connected with a bright red line. So you know exactly where to find us and exactly what you can watch. So I'll be watching to see if you're watching. If you have an iPhone, uh, I'm going to tell you how to do this. You get your iPhone and you need to go to the App Store. There's this little magnifying glass down here at the bottom. You need to click that and it's gonna take you up here to the top, and I need you to type in Merritt Street, or you can type in Merritt Plus, but I'd rather you type in Merritt Street. And you can do this on your iPhone or your iPad or an Apple computer. You're going to see uh, our app come up, and it's labeled Merritt Plus. There's a little tile, it says Merritt, and a little plus right next to it. When you get that, you're gonna hit Get, and then little wheel's gonna go around and it's gonna say open and you can click open. Now, this is free, it doesn't cost you anything. And as soon as you click open, guess what? You're looking at Merritt Street Media and the first face you're gonna see is mine. If you scroll down, you're gonna see all the different shows, schedule, everything that you can possibly wanna know. So if I see you on the street and you say, how do I find Mary Street Media? I'm going to know you didn't watch this video.
Okay, so you can see from the video, it's it's really very simple. And there's something else you can do. If you've got Apple TV, you can go to the Apple Store and you can download the Merit Street app. You have to go to the Apple Store. If you've got Apple TV, it's free. It'll, it'll pop up Merit Plus. You just download it, open it, and you can watch this on your phone, or your iPad, or your computer, or you can watch it on your television, either one.